This video is based on the recent publication by Dr. Keith Johnson of MIT in the International Journal of Astrobiology. Cosmic dust, from supernovae explosions, a scourge to many astronomers, some who may even have lost a Nobel Prize because of it. Yet, cosmic dust, coated within layers of amorphous water ice, is a blessing in disguise. With the help of incident cosmic radiation, water nanoclusters are ejected into space from the amorphous water ice coatings of the cosmic dust. These water nanoclusters are dodecahedrally shaped and have quantum Rydberg electron states shown here to extend beyond each cluster. They are the basis for Rydberg dark matter. Over 30 years of searching for dark matter, proposed exotic elementary particles such as WIMPs and axions have not been observed experimentally, even in the latest large underground xenon lux and MIT abracadabra detectors. Nor have the WIMPs predicted from supersymmetry theory been created in the CERN Large Hadron Collider. Other types of dark matter, such as neutrinos and black holes, have been suggested, but thus far not enough of it has been found. In conclusion, stable dodecahedral water nanoclusters, ejected from amorphous ice-coated cosmic dust, constitute Rydberg matter. Rydberg matter interacts, or becomes quantum entangled, over long distances in space, causing it to be transparent to visible, infrared, and radio frequencies. Thus, it is one form of baryonic dark matter. Rydberg matter is a low-density substance, so that one doesn't need a lot of it to explain dark matter, compared with non-baryonic elementary particles, such as WIMPs, axions, and neutrinos. For the connection of this scenario to the role of cosmic water nanoclusters in the origin of life, see dark matter, dark energy, and life, how are they connected on this channel?